Hello and welcome to a video from filmsbychris.com. I'm Chris with a K. There's a link in the description of my website. Also a link to my GitLab page with all the example codes in the series. This is a series of videos on tutorials. This is actually the third tutorial. Be sure to check out the previous ones uh, so you don't get lost on what we're doing. Uh, but yes, if you were to download my example codes here, again, there'll be a link in the description. It's gitlab.com forward slash melix1000 forward slash dooms... Uh, Z script examples. You can, if you know how to use Git, you can use Git. You can also just download a zip file. The example working today is going to be similar to the one that says zombie shoots plasma. So you can go into that directory and give it a try. Otherwise, we're actually going to recreate it right now. We're actually going to start with what we had in the last video. So in the last video, uh, you can see I'm in a directory here. We have our Z script file which if I show you what's in it, it just says what version of Gscript we're working with and did I say Gscript? Zscript that we're working with and then we're going to include this other file, this new zombie file. Let's go ahead and look at that real quick and what we created last time. We created a second shotgun guy, we call it shotgun guy 2 and it replaces all zombies. So again, there will still be regular shotgun guys in this game but anywhere that there was a standard zombie with a pistol now has this guy. We lowered their health to 3 so it takes one shot and ha most of the time they're going to do their second death, which is just explode into jibs. Uh, and then down here we have it so when they die, they drop a clip and a health bonus. So it drops two items. And today we're going to modify their attack. So we're going to modify this missile state. So these are the states. It's going to start off in a spawn. It's going to be looking when it sees you. It's going to go to C. And then every once in a while, it will do its missile attack. So what we're going to do here, if you go to my uh, GitLab page and go under Extras Actors, and we find the very top one here is the Arachnotron, right? The Arachnotrons are the little spider robots that shoot plasma rifles or plasma bullets at you. So let's go down to their missile state. And what do we have here? Well, we have... Uh, bright, right? Because the bright is saying light up the sprite. If it's dark room, it's like a muzzle flash, okay? So we're saying use this sprite. This is the frame. This is how long to hold the frame. This is make it bright. And then we're going to run a function. Now, if we look here, we already have our sprite for our shotgun guy here, which is SPOS. Uh, I believe the regular zombie guy is POSS. Uh, and then we're using frame E. This is the delay that how long it's going to hold that frame for. They're going to face the target. And then they're going to do this attack. We don't want to do this attack anymore. What we're going to do is we're now going to do this attack, which is the attack for the Arachnotron. Then we will do another line of bright. Depends on how fast we want them to shoot. We have a kind of a delay there. So what I'm going to do now is now say... Uh, rifle uh, spider rifle fire. So actually, I'm going to comment this line out first. So now all we did was change this from the shotgun guy attack to the spider attack. And if we were to now run this, we're saying again, look in the current directory for all the scripts. This is a Doom 2 game and we are warping to level 1. Now, if I did everything correct, shoot when they attack yep they shoot one plasma shot each time which is fine but let's say we want them to do more of a rapid fire like a, a plasma rifle would uh, we also see that it says what uh, that my username which you define in the game if not it defaults to player uh, is uh, was shot by a sergeant that's something we can change as well we'll look at that in a moment uh, so what we have here again they're they spawn into this and they're going to be running this function of looking around. Then when they see you, they're going to start chasing you. And then every once in a while, they'll do their missile attack. Well, you notice that like when they're walking, they have this loop option. Let's go ahead. Instead of going back to C, and again, forward slash forward slash just means this is a comment. So it's not going to run that code. Uh, but now we're just going to say loop. If I run that now, right? So now the, the shotgun guy, our new zombie shotgun guy, is just going to repeatedly shoot at us. Even when I'm out of view, they will never come out of that state because I told them to loop forever on that unless I kill them, right? So that's not exactly what we want. Still kind of slow and also we don't want them to continuously shoot when I go around a corner, right? So that's where 
uh, we can look again at the arachnotron code, and they actually have go to missile, which is actually the current state, plus one. I, I tell you the truth, I don't really know what the plus one means, but we're going to leave that in there since that's what the code says. Right? So we can always look at code that already exists to see how it's going to work. Go ahead and run that. Now let's see how they work. They shoot, and when I go around the corner, they're still shooting. They're shooting a little bit faster, though. Are, are they shooting faster? Uh, actually, what I need to do now is add in this line. So this is just basically telling it's it's the refire function for the spider. So let's go ahead and save that. We'll run this again. So now it's saying shoot, run the function for reshooting, and also continue in this uh, attack, this missile attack. I'm going to type in my... There we go. Now I'm invincible. So they're still shooting at me. They're continuously shooting at me. If I get out of the way, they stop shooting. We're almost there. That's pretty good if that's the rate you want them to shoot at. How do we make them shoot faster, right? Well, again, where it says 10 here, this is the delay. So let's go ahead and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to change all of these to 3. So we went from 10 each frame being 10 to 3, so we're going to be going three times faster, right? There's a third of a delay, a third less of a delay, or no, it is a third of the delay. <laughs> Again, make myself invincible. Hello, shoot me. There we go. That's a better rate, right? And again, if I go behind the corner, they stop. That's pretty much how we want them to function, right? Again, we can lower that number and they'll shoot even faster if we change those threes to ones. And you can even make it, I don't know what would happen if you make them all zeros. I know you can make them zeros. Well, you know what? Let's find out. And I'm going to say zero. Again, I will make myself invincible, otherwise they'll kill me in a moment. This might be ridiculous how fast they shoot. Or it might crash, I don't know. Yeah, it crashed the game. <laughs> oh. Did it crash my whole computer? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so don't do that. <laughs> uh, let's, oh, no, I don't want to run that again. So you do want some sort of delay when they're shooting. Let's go back into our script here. I had to kill GZ Doom. Uh, let's just make them a low number here we will say one. Let's see if that crashes the game or if we just get really fast shooting uh, zombie men. Again, make myself invincible. I will shoot. Oh yeah, that's fast. I've also noticed that uh, the Arach Arachnotrons, I never realized that before, that they don't seem to kill other enemies. Uh, so that's interesting to know. Uh, let's let's give ourselves a little something here to help us out. First of all, let's um, just set these back to three. I think that was a good rate, right? And here, instead of dropping a clip and a health bonus, let's go ahead and tell it when I kill one of them, which they're easy to kill, their life's only set to three, uh, we're going to set it to a uh, plasma rifle. So now, at least when I kill them, I will be able to pick up a plasma rifle. Which makes sense. If they're holding a plasma rifle, I should be able to pick it up. <laughs> they're still strong. That would be nice if those were my super bonus pickups that I made in the first tutorial. Anyway, that is creating a special, oh, you know, let's change one more thing. One more thing while we're here. Uh, we should be able to go in here and obituary, shotgun guy. I'm just gonna say you, I'm sure there's a variable for the player name, but I'm just gonna say you were, were, were killed by a plasma trooper or a plasma guy. How about that? Since they're called shotgun guys now, it's a plasma guy. 
which may be a better name for our object now. But we'll go ahead and run that. Now when I die, instead of saying uh, the player name was killed by a shotgun guy, Yep, up in the corner it says, you were killed by a plasma guy. Awesome. So, we've created our own custom plasma shooting monster. I hope you found this video uh, tutorial useful. Again, check out filmsbychris.com. Also, check out all the links in the description of this video uh, to the full playlist. And also, you can go and download all my examples. Our example today was based on my example I made in here. You can go through, and even before watching the tutorials, you can go into any of these example folders and run GZ uh, Doom dash file dot once you're in that directory and it will use that directory as uh, as your package and you can test out all these different examples that we will be going over in future videos so be sure to check out the playlist and go through them all thanks again for watching uh, and if you like these videos you can support me on patreon through Libre pay if you go to my website again filmsbychris.com there's a support section with a bunch of different ways you can support me if you can't support me financially that is cool like share subscribe and comment uh, again uh, I feel like there needs to be more good videos on Zscript. That's why I'm making these. Share this. If you are in Doom forums or Facebook pages or wherever you chat with people about Doom, share this playlist. Hopefully it will help out. I'm hoping. Uh, have a great day.